Family, 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 what's up, man? Of course, it's your boy, Quizzy, man, I'm back. <laughs> Feel good. Yesterday wasn't the best day for me, just mentally. It was like a lot of things you gotta work through personally in your life, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it's not enough light. Y'all, so today, we're, we're gonna watch people we're gonna watch people freak out, right? Because when your life feels like it's going in a certain direction, then you kinda gotta see for yourself, like, what is going on with my life? Then you also gotta remember, there are people out here that are way worse, all right? And this is not to hate on anybody. These are Karens. They deserve what they're gonna get, right? Before we do that, all I need you to do is hit that like button, go down below, and subscribe to your boy if you're new, man. Y'all, let's get started. I'll tell you coming to watch some freakouts with your boy, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, dog, man, I can't wait to get back on live. When I get my new computer, it's over. It's over, I promise you, bro. Ask him, ask him why you cannot go in. I want someone to tell me why you want me to wear that tie to come in. You're gonna have to wear that tie. But why? Where's the manager? Where's the manager? This is how we be treated in Gucci. No, 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 no. <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode. But what did they do? They did something before they started playing that camera. I don't believe in they didn't just do anything. How do you realize that I was standing over here? I wasn't acknowledged in a minute he walked in. You acknowledged him. I apologize. I saw that you were standing there. That's why I wanted to acknowledge you. I see. Yeah, I, I, because the two gentlemen over there did the same thing, except I was standing in front of them for like a couple minutes. They didn't acknowledge me. Damn. Okay. As a tenant, yeah. here's the thing. As a what? tenant, you have to mitigate your losses by law right. you have to mitigate your losses that means you have to decrease your losses as much as possible mm -hmm. so you can buy sandwiches okay. you can buy microwave food uh, you can buy cold food you okay. don't have to cook on the stove for this okay. week okay all right you don't have to eat out every day either mm -hmm. you don't have to do that okay okay a worker starts going up all right who the fuck are you to tell this man how he want to eat and live his life like, shut up. You, it look like you've been eating nice. It look like you've been eating pretty damn good, sir. So shut the fuck up. a customer for asking for a refund for a charge that he wasn't aware of. The worker tells the customer if he doesn't want to pay, he can simply leave, which the customer did. Uh, number four, right, so you just told me that I can go without paying for the I'm petrol. I'm not telling you to do You are for BP. I'm not telling you. I don't love my BP. It's none of my shouting business. At me. If you want to do it, you pay for it. If you Stop don't want to pay for shouting. it, get out from the shop. Stop That's shouting at me. Right, you won't. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. You tell me, stop shouting at me, but you actually came up and started, you elevated the situation. He didn't say nothing to you, he was walking away. Now, I'm not saying I'm on his side. I'm just saying he was walking away. You walked up and you said, that, 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 that. That's, that's my interpretation of how he talked, because I can't remember exactly what he said. Stop, don't look at my shirt because it's like a little colored pink. Real man gonna wear pink, and I got some, I got some girls out this thing. You see, your boy been working out. You get paid then. Stop shouting at me. I'm not shouting at you, brother. Both of y'all shouting at each other, idiots. Right, I'm gonna leave now then, without paying for the petrol because you won't give me my one pound fifty back. Okay, you're all happy with that, yeah? No, because there's a charge for one pound fifty which you didn't tell me about. And I'm not going to have him shout at me. It says on the machine, hey, it's mate. charged 150. Well, yeah. It says on there. How can I you pay you? Yeah, you not just say. Right? Yeah, do you want to stop shouting? But you stop shouting at me first. No, no, you don't shout hey, at me. Hey, hey, one, both of y'all are outmatched. All right? You see old boy in the background. He's ready to go. He's on go mode. Stop playing with my boy in the front, bro. And then another thing, my boy to the side. He with the beer, bro. Hey, that, that man is a cold heart son of a bitch. You know what I'm saying? He'll take one of them bottles. Ah! Ah! Don't play with them, bro. Shit, y'all might think y'all know something. Yeah, hey, hey, they be packing heat, especially in St. Louis, bro. <laughs> like it's coming. Hey, if you don't want to pay, you get out from here. See you later. But, facts, See just you leave. later. Like entitled ass, just leave, bro. If they don't want to do what you want them to do, leave. Unbelievable. I, but That's I get, way. but I get standing up for yourself. But just leave, bro. Don't who spend money. Lost her cool. The worker is obviously having a great day and decided to deny this guy's flight because he missed the cutoff time by two minutes. I forgot to. Damn. I can leave. But 
Bro, these games getting sexy as hell. Um, 166 to upgrade the first class if you want to guarantee it. I'll look at the JFK points and see the next flight to JFK only has one seat available. Um, you could confirm that seat for $50. I could look at the web after that, which means about 1 30. So there's a JFK at like 10 something, 1 30. Bro, you're talking so fucking much. I can't even follow. There's a JFK at 1 30. There's a JFK at 2 30. If you want, you can upgrade the first class. Who the fuck is going to do that? Like, you can upgrade the first, you know how much first class is? Like, I'm not I'm not even saying, like, I wouldn't mind sitting in the first class. In fact, I look forward to it. I look forward to it. But, but, it, let's say you had a certain amount of money to go to a trip. We don't really know why people fly, but it's obvious to get to, from one place to the other. If you're flying, if you're flying, you don't even know. Some people might really need to get where they're going. It could be a sick loved one. It could be a relative that they need to get. It could be an appointment they're trying to make for a job. It could be anything. Just don't be an asshole when you don't have to be, bro. You guys are probably the worst service I've ever seen in my life. It is y'all problem. Honestly, you guys got over 300 reviews and one star. Good for you. you know, good, yeah, good for me. Good for you guys. You guys are the ones with the bad review. All right, so what do you want me to do? Why do you keep fix, blah, 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 blah. fix my account, right. dude. If you want me to fix, you need to come. Don't down. scream at me because I'm not because screaming you at you. No, 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 no. So I'm not screaming at you. I'm perfectly well, and you're I'm not. upset because of the you're things not. that you've done with my can business. Mind okay? your business again. Oh, oh wait. Yes. you can say bad words, but I can, right? Because you just said it to me. Boy, crazy face ass. Boy, I'm gonna get on your shit, boy. Boy, you look like some nigga off of Disney, bro. I cannot put my finger on it, bro. I swear, the Disney movie is forming in my head, bro. And it's not Aladdin with y'all racist ass. Y'all are racist, bro. It, it was not finna be Aladdin, boy. It was finna be something, though. Big nose ass, boy. I'm finna get on your shit, boy. You tried to have that Rick Ross beard, boy. Tried to part that motherfucker like the Red Sea up on the top, boy. No, that shit look like a fucking brown peach, stupid ass, boy. I don't know who you look like. Like, bro, but when I when I remember who you look like, you look like a lot of niggas, though, bro. I didn't say that. I said I didn't say it towards you. Learn English, dude. This guy has a problem with the way <laughs> the receptionist asked for his ID and for giving him an attitude when he complained about how he couldn't find the location online. And you're not gonna, you can't, you can do whatever you wanna do. Okay, great. Now, what did you say to me about getting my lab results? I told you to get your insurance and your ID. And you gave me about three seconds. You are not gonna, I'm gonna uh, take I'm this because we're that. gonna have a discussion here. That's fine. You all, I also said there's no way to find uh, where you I are on the internet. And you said, I'm just a phlebotomist. See, let's see how you react. Okay, so so far it says so she asked him for the ID and stuff like that. He's saying that there's no way to find you on the internet. It doesn't correlate. I need your ID. You're already here. Like no no no. It's like if you on the phone, like bro, I can't find you. Okay, but he's already there. He's there. He's in front of her. Now he's just trying to piss her off because he's upset. And so she's like, I'm not doing customer service. I'm not being rude to you at all. I'm a cost of here. Go for it. Or wait for them. And we'll see what they have to say. I mean, but they're going to escort you out if she calls security, bro. I've taken an hour out of my day to find out where you guys are. Like I told you at first, I told a supervisor. I'm not the one who works on the website. There's nothing I can do about it. There's a lot of things you could do. You could put a sign at the other office I that's a hundred yards away. Why would she? But why would she do it? She said she contacted a supervisor. That's it. That's it. You're here. You found it. Get your shit and go. It's simple. You can't let people throw off your energy. Don't. Let people throw off your fucking energy, bro. Sometimes you got to shut that screen on them, shut that door on them, and keep and focus on what you need to focus on, bro. My bad. The worker called a pet store right before closing, asking if they could wait for him as he's running late and in need of dog food. The worker waited but decided to refuse him service after finding out he lied to him about buying food. Lock up and go. I don't... I said I was going to be here at 9 o'clock. You said I could come in and... Grab what I was gonna do. I got here at nine o'clock. 
and you lock the door and pretend like I wasn't here. I don't get that. We close at nine. I can't stay open any later than nine. I called ahead and you said yes. I understand. That's why, that's why I came here. I understand, but you made it, I thought you just needed food or something, that you were just gonna be in and out. I, I am, actually the light I wanted to buy was right there, it's faster than the food. So where did we go wrong? I'm sorry, man. I I was under the assumption that you needed food. You and said you to come here at nine o'clock. I got here right when I told you I'd be. And then I pounded on the door and you pretended like I wasn't here. So can I come in and buy my lights? I'm sorry. I can't so you're telling you. me no. I, I'm your good customer. I got here when I was supposed to and you're telling me no. Correct. Awesome. That's great customer service, but I appreciate that. Yep. This next clip is an example. Okay, that was just stupid, bro. That's like, that's a great way to lose your job. Why you don't mess with the person who's making your food. This guy showed up to a McDonald's right before closing and the worker decided to serve him raw meat. Damn. I told you, bro, I work at a restaurant. That shit is raw. It's, go, go complain to that. Bro. Oh, a little bit raw. Bro. At Extra Space Storage. Man, fuck Extra Space Storage, bro. I used to work for them. Trust me. Fuck them. We're all about giving you options to make your life better. That Johnny Thick, though. Ah! Baby, I need to go back. That's why we made it even easier for you to get the. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Oh, my. That's raw meat. Um, I mean, that's raw. <laughs> I mean, they had to do that on purpose. That's raw meat. That's blood in the bun. <laughs> how the, how the, I mean, like, how the fuck do you even make a raw McDonald's burger? I, I feel him. That had to be on purpose, because how do you make a raw McDonald's burger, bro? Like, that just doesn't, it already comes pre-fucking cooked, damn near. I mean, that's raw. I mean, I ain't trying to be rude. I used to have fries like that. <laughs> 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 I just needed to know what we're doing. I mean, you gotta have two points between 40 and 140. That's like, I mean, somebody put that out, that's crazy. I mean, that's how you mean. That's nasty. Y'all in the middle of the COVID crisis. I mean, that's... I want to adjust part of his clip. Damn. Okay. I'm feeling it too. But I wouldn't want no more food from them. I'm like, bro, give me a refund. I'm going to another store, bro, but give me a gift card or something. I'm not eating there. Now after you fucked up my shit one time and then I complain, I'm never eating there again. Ever, ever. I'm never, ever eating there again. I'll tell you what, y'all just keep the money. <laughs> Working here, you can't, you can't give, this guy would not give me a refund. Okay. First of all, I didn't ask him for a refund. I asked him to change my soda to the same thing that this was did not taste right. He said no one else complained about the soda to him all day. I told him that's them, that's not me. I just asked to him for to change my soda many, to many the same thing. He says he's a manager. Right. So he's not going to give me give me a refund, nor is he going to give me a refund. But the thing is, I didn't ask for a refund. I asked him to change my soda. So I'm going to leave my soda here, and I'm going to report this to corporate. This is like the pettiest shit, bro. It just be petty. Like, that shit just petty. Just fucking pour a soda out, fill this shit back up, and be done with it. You don't even pay for soda, bro. Angel, what is that manager's name? That's his personal information that I am not giving out. That's not my information to give. Okay, but he's kicking me out. I'm kicking you out too. My name is Andrew. You said my name. You okay. Know my name is now, what's that general's manager's name? That's not. Augusto. That's kicking me out. Cops are on their way. That's fine. You need to leave. You're gonna be arrested for trespassing. I am like, not I gonna get arrested for trespassing. You're, you're banned from kind of fitness. Okay. I want. I want that manager's name. That's kicking me out. This customer ordered a to-go box while her family sat down to eat. The woman then started eating her to-go box and got really upset when the worker walked up to her to let her know that she couldn't refill her to-go box. Now the customer is demanding a refund for assuming she was going to refill her box. What the fuck? Why would you assume she would refill? 
her to go by. Take, hold on, I'm looking at the thing. It says take out and dine in. So, all right, so a woman got the to-go box. You got a to-go box. You sat down and you ate it. And then you were mad at the people for not refill, refilling your to-go box that was to-go. Gotcha. And then we all turned into all the food. The person told you, you to go, not to come here. Understand? Are you crazy? I'm recording this. You come, you come, don't worry, you come, please. Hold on. Please you're, come in. The, you're a the, person? While I was sitting there and I was not going to get more food, you I can't be little bit of the same thing. You go, wait, oh, you can't. You be little bit of the same thing. I'm not going to be here, woman. I'm not. You, you're not here to go. You take baby the food. No, I'm not going to be to go either. So you call, call, please. Sorry. You need to refund my money right now. No, sorry. You take baby the you food. You need to refund my money right now. No. Come. No, you call. Come, 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 come. It's okay. I cannot okay. wait for this. Call. Okay, you can. Call. Because I will not leave until you refill my money. You need to refund my money right now. I'm so, telling you. Sorry. You or you need to teach your your people that work here some respect. It's not going to work like this. I'm not dying for $4. You understand that? Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. You're you're she came to my wife. So, okay, I'm and she, for $4. She did not get the refill. Excuse me. You call the police. I don't tell you anything. Sorry. I don't tell you anything. Sorry. Are you the owner of this place? Are you the it's owner? A, it's my ice manager here. You uh, what? Are you the owner? Manager. Who's your owner? I tell you, I need you up and you call me. You, you people are missing. You guys have a problem. You need to refund my money. I need to get out of here. I'm working here 15 years. not crazy. You are crazy. You crazy. You, you, to told, to you told her. You told her. Someone you guys need to learn some management. I told what? You told the crazy. I called. You told me the crazy. Me, everything. I'm working here 15 years. You tell whatever you want. I don't care. <laughs> Look, the, I'm just laughing at the lady in the background. She looking like, do we have a problem? <laughs> hey, look, look at the lady in the background. Just looking like, do we have a? I'm waiting for shit to pop off. Do we have a problem? She kind of cute though. You know what I'm saying? Little Asian self, kind of cute though. Is it me? Everything. I working here. Tell whatever you want. I don't care. Oh, you told me crazy. Me fifteen years. You, you guys want crazy. Next up, we have a manager who calls the cops on a customer who simply wanted to replace his vegetables for me. The one also. Are you yeah, gonna substitute? Yeah, yeah. I told you. Yeah. You're yeah, gonna no, substitute right. my vegetables? You're gonna, sir. I'm okay, talking to you. To leave. Go. I don't serve you anymore. You go. You're allowed to leave, please. Okay. Because you have to do. You are right to be the only. No. You have no right. You are being a real. No, because I haven't done anything. Yeah, I have a, I have a customer here. I want him to leave. I haven't even, uh, I haven't even argued or anything. Right. The gentleman, I haven't argued. My bad, y'all. I'm just thinking, like, bro. I'm like, who is really wrong? It, he's at a steakhouse. He said he wants to get instead of his his vegetables, he wanted to get chicken or beef or meat and shit like that. But I think that's an upcharge. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know. I think it's. I think it costs more to get the meat than get vegetables. You know what I'm saying? I I I, I believe so. I don't know. Uh, I always know that 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 vegan food and 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 like healthy food always costs more. So I really don't know. I'm like, damn. But I mean, it's not really that that big of a deal. But I can see why the guy doesn't want to be on camera. Like nobody really wants to be on camera and shit like that against their will. Argued with him. I asked the gentleman a question. He's calling the police on me. For no reason, simply talking to him. The gentleman called the police on me. That's him right there. That's the general manager acting very rude. He yelled at the other manager from another and everything. And uh, just real quick, I want you all to see this gentleman. That is him right there. Very clear. Look at him walk away because he's okay now. But tonight, okay, you got him on camera. You got him in his face. Now just leave, bro. You now you being an asshole. Rude. Very rude. This last clip features a customer at a Walmart who calls the cops on a manager for not doing her job. It's around 2 a.m. and there's about 20 Damn. to 30 people who are waiting to check out with only one checkout line open. Bro, I fucking I used to work at Walmart. That's the shit that I don't like. Damn, get some more fucking people to work there. Stop being fucking cheap, Sam, Sam Walton, Walmart. The customer filming was looking for the manager so she can report her to corporate and happened to stumble across an angry customer who's already went off on the manager demanding that she tells the workers to stop walking around and to do their job. 
and that wraps up this episode of wild karen make sure to hit that thumbs up it really helps out this channel thank you as always for watching until next time i'm at the walmart on belvedere oh military trail in west palm beach there had to be a black woman i could already tell by that voice i'm at the walmart on belvedere i'm like oh hell no nah. she finna go crazy watch she finna go crazy this is how the line look just after 12 midnight this is how the line look. There's only one register open and they have all these people standing in line like this. This is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Totally ridiculous. I am going to send this video to corporate to let them know what's going on in their stores. I'm glad this that she did that. Sense. The line is way back here. Somebody is getting fired, bro. I used to be a customer service manager, bro. I used to be in the thick of that, bro. Right in there, bro. Guess what? After a while, bro, fuck that shit. I, I looked at that line, I'm like, man, fuck all that. I'll hop on the register. Get these people the fuck out of here, bro. I'll take anybody that, I'll take, I'll take anybody that doesn't have all these fucking big, big items. Anybody that needs to, but now they got self-checkout. Why the hell? Oh, the self-checkout. We you, we did used to close self-checkout at a certain time, bro. But they need to leave that shit over or do another switch. They need to find something. To, this is, That ain't working. That ain't working. Way back here to aisle seven. I'm looking Dang. for the manager so I can get a picture of her. I, I'm sorry? I'm not, well, I'm not trying to be, if you walk in front of my camera, you just walking in front of it. I'm not, I'm not trying to put you in nothing. I'm not trying to put you in nothing. Chill out. I'm looking for the manager of Walmart. Chill out, man. I'm not trying to put you in nothing. Right, it's about two o'clock in the morning. Like, that's disrespectful, bro. Sure it is. Okay, here come PBSO right here. Hi. Hi. Oh God, bro! Just, just the way, just the way he walked up. What's going on? Just gonna crack my back. I'm ready to throw some black women on the goddamn ground? Damn camera cut off of me and shit. I'm trying to stop a young man shine. When we come up, hey, I'm getting a new damn camera. I ain't no damn boy. We getting a studio. I'm a boy. I'm gonna make sure this mug look nice. You hear me? Put something on the wall. We gonna make this mug lit, AJ. Turn up. That boy, I got it. All right, I'm going to do his hair today, bro. This is ridiculous.